Hi all, and thanks for tuning into my short presentation on abnormality detection in histopathology using normalizing flows. This is joint work for my supervisor Ben Klocker. Let's start by talking about why we might want to apply outlay detection to histopathology. So in histopathology, one often deals with whole slide images, which are massive and multiple gigapixels in size. And we're interested in the amount of tissue that is unhealthy. Often this will be cancerous tissue. As such, it is very expensive to have an expert provide bounding box or even pixel-wise annotations due to the sheer size of the images. On the other hand, we can use slides that are known to be fully healthy as negative examples to provide cheap pixel-wise labels. The idea of outlet detection is now that we could learn what this healthy tissue looks like and detect deviations from it as outliers to help diagnosing unhealthy regions. So how do we go about this? In our paper, we propose to use recent advances in normalizing flows to train a residual flow to estimate the density of healthy samples from patch chameleon. The patch chameleon dataset consists of small patches extracted from whole slide histopathology images. And here we're using the same split of the original dataset and rely on the official code release of the residual flow paper. Once we have trained the residual flow on the healthy training dataset, you can see some of the examples in the box on the left. We will calculate the likelihood of unseen examples that can either be healthy or unhealthy. There are some examples of both cases on the right side of the slide. We would now hope to see that the likelihood of healthy examples will be closer to that of training examples, whereas that of unhealthy samples should be different. Ideally, the negative log likelihood of the healthy samples should be lower than that of the unhealthy examples, as this is what the model is trained to do. The diagram in the middle gives an intuitive visualization, but it does not show real data. However, in practice, we find that using the likelihood is a bad score for differentiating healthy and unhealthy samples. This is in line with various previous papers on outlier or out of distribution detection using generative models. Instead, we propose to use different outlier metrics and we follow work that considers checkpoints along the training trajectory as different models to cut down on the compute cost during training. We then collect multiple checkpoints of our model and calculate various statistics as potential outlier metrics. Namely, we are considering the regular likelihood, the expected likelihood over multiple checkpoints, the variance of the likelihood over multiple checkpoints, the watanabe Kaike information criterion, as introduced by Choi et al., and an adaptation on the typicality test, as introduced by Nanlisnik et al. So we compare the performance of those different methods in terms of area under the curve to assess the separation of the healthy inlier and unhealthy outlier samples. Here we find that the regular likelihood measure achieves random performance and does not separate healthy and unhealthy patches from one another. On the other hand, expectations of the likelihood achieve non-trivial results, particularly the variance of the likelihood achieves an AEC that is close to that of a fully supervised method as published by the authors of the patch chameleon dataset. More complicated outlier measures fall behind the easier ones, and even a simple Gaussian baseline that approximates the average colors of the image can achieve a better performance than, for example, the WAIC. Summarizing, we show that normalizing flows with tuned outlier measures can differentiate unhealthy histopathology patches from healthy ones. This might be useful in applications where little or no annotated training data is available. Nevertheless, the behavior of the different metrics, especially the variance-based one, as well as the use of multiple model checkpoints should be studied further. Thanks for listening to my presentation and please find me later for questions.